Hi, I'm Jack of All Trades, and this is Master of One at a Time. So, this is the light bulb taken out of our microwave. When the overhead light burned out, this comes out of it. This is a halogen light bulb. I'll have to lean down underneath and see where that porcelain outlet is. I don't know if you can see the two holes inside there, but that's where the plug is. That's a porcelain plug, and that's a halogen light. That burned out. Remove the cover, pull the light out. When you pull that light out and go to the store to buy it, you buy it based off the prongs that you have and the size that you need to replace. The prongs fit this width, these two holes here, and this length, where the lines come from to the base there. So that you can take you your light with you? Take and your light with you and you, can and you can check it to show that that's the right length and the right width. Once you have it, you'll always remember it's a G8. For this light, it's always going to be a G8. It's never going to change. It's never a GY6. What'd you use, 38? Uh, 38, 39, whatever it took. Look for the color, and then look for the width. G8, color blue. That way you always know it's the right type of light. Now, because it's a halogen, you have to handle these carefully. The reason being, Halogen lights get very, very hot. If you remember back in the 70s and 80s when the halogens became big time for car headlights, the manufacturers told you back then, do not touch the halogen with your bare hand. The skin oils from your hand actually attach to the glass and it can cause them to burn to burn out faster because they actually heat up the glass, the oils burn off and it causes them to burn out faster. So whenever you're handling, using, or changing out halogen lights, always wear gloves. Plastic, rubber, whatever, transferring the skin oils to your light will cause it to burn and short out faster. So once you have your light set, you want to be able to see where you're plugging it into. So it once you put it in, in, and it slides all the way in. You can tell because it's a tight fit, but once you get it into the prongs and slide it in, it'll slide all the way in. Part of the glass will slide into that slot as well. And you'll know it's in because it'll. once you get the prongs started, they'll slide in easily. As long as it's held level, pushed in, you'll feel the glass slide into the porcelain outlet. So you can feel when it's seated? Yes, you'll feel it completely when it's seated. Once you have your light put in, turn on your light, check it. It's going to be bright. Make sure if there's any other levels to it that those work as well. Turn it off. Your light works. Next thing is you want to put your cover on it with this microwave, which is a General Electric. There's one screw and there's one part that catches onto it. This is the lead that slides in and then the screw fits. It has like a little hook, right, that goes over Yes. There's a tab. On there's side. a tab on the end that feeds into the slot and then the screw feeds into here. And that's it. And remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Again, check the light. Service light on, low, and off. Our other microwave had two lights. Yes, this one only has one. Yes. And halogens should last a good long time, right? These are 4,000 hours. It'll tell you approximately how many hours they will last. It tells you what the voltage is on them and all the other necessary information, how many bulbs are in the packet but your concern is the size and the number of hours. So this bulb should last two years before it burns out. And unless, we leave it on all the time. Yes, unless you play with the bulb with your hands and the skin oils, it'll last about a year. And these are approximately $6 a bulb. So that's how you switch out a bulb. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and we'll master another one on the next one. Bye.